Allah has mentioned the actual state of affairs and the intense punishment of all those involved in making such allegations on Quran and Prophet Sallallahu Allah says that you will not be able to fabricate or make a verse like Quran. And this has been actually so because the words of Allah and the predictions of Allah, Alimul Ghaib, who is all knowing, have always been correct. And then Allah has warned. Allah has warned all those who doubt that then because of this doubt and because of all these allegations and because of all these failures of belief and faith and opposition to the Prophet Sallallahu they should fear the hell fire. And then mentioning the hell fire, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is saying that the hell fire whose fuel will be men and stone. Remember the hell fire Prophet has, has warned every one of us is going to be 69 times higher in temperature as compared to the fire on the earth. And here Allah is mentioning that the fuel of the hell fire will be stones and men, the Quduhannasu wal Khijara, with stones. The stones which were used for making idols are the stones which were carved into idols will be burned in hellfire. This shows what? It shows the dislike of polytheism and the severity of the punishment for all who were worshipped and who worshipped other than Allah. The next part, the Quduhan Nas, the fuel of the hellfire will be men. Allahumma la taj'alna minhum. Wallah, save us from all. Save us all from the hellfire. How will men be the fuel of the hellfire? Because you know what? Science today tells us that the human body has so many components which assist and which can act as a fuel for fire and they will assist in burning. For example, the human body has sulfur, human body has phosphorus, and these elements are present in the bones, in the hair, in the nails. And these are highly, highly inflammable. These are the elements and the chemicals which are used for making all forms of these fireworks, you know. And moreover, the human body has fat. Fat is a major part of the human body. Our brain is 95% fat. And fat, we all know, is an ideal fuel. So what lesson do we learn? The hellfire, which is 69 times hotter than the fire of this world, when the inmates of hell, they will be added, they will be thrown in the hell. The temperature will not drop. The fire will further flare up and the people of hellfire will be thrown in hell. And the temperature of fire will not drop. When the inmates will gather in hell instead, it will flare up even more. Prophet Sallallahu the merciful, has been so kind and has been so loving and so caring for all of us that he has very kindly and very lovingly taught us the words of the supplication. We need to ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get or to be released or to be saved and protected from the hellfire. You must, you must, we all of us, we must learn, we must remember and we must very frequently ask for this. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. Allahumma ajirna mina nar. O Allah, save ourselves from the torments of hellfire. And you know what? What the Sunnah of the Prophet was that he used to recite this supplication seven times after his Fajr Salah and seven times after the Maghrib Salah. And then in other words of the 
of the narration of the Prophet Sallallahu also inform us, the Prophet Sallallahu said that whoever seeks refuge from the hell thrice, then the hell itself intercedes for him. So whenever you, we do make this, this supplication of Allahumma ajirna minan nar, 